Hello people, I'm Fire Creatures Photography and I'm going to show you in the editing, post-processing of this picture of two wolves. It's a snapshot, it wasn't uh, arranged by me, I was actually doing something else, but when guys like this pose for you, you take the picture. And uh, so the light conditions are not exactly perfect. I'm going to, uh, to mend it. First, before I start doing anything else, I'm going to uh, change the framing. It's not bad, but in my opinion, there's still a lot of empty space around. So I'm going to adjust this. I was going to go this way, but I would have this ugly piece of uh, something brown sticking in, which I don't want. So I'm going to cut it out completely. And if you are a believer in the rule of thirds, composition rule, you'll see that this is exactly by the book. I've checked that I don't cut off the horns or the paws, neither of which happen. So this is framing I'm satisfied with. Now the biggest problem is the dark wolf is really dark. Let's see what happens if I go up with shadows. It helps, but it's kind of bleaching the picture because now everything is going to lose contrast. I'm going to change this by manual local adjustment i'm going to use shadow settings plus 25 and i'm going to get the wolves for a bit brighter and actually i think i will use a bit of shadows after all it will bleach him a little but that doesn't matter because we are going to do the opposite, we are going to darken the blacks, that way you are adding contrast into the photo. And if you look at the histogram, you see that it's not completely uh, reaching to the edge, that means the white is not really white. So let's make the white a bit whiter. And compared to the original, you will see that we have added quite a lot of contrast into it, and we have brightened, brightened the wall. Now, another nifty trick, which I use on most of my photos, uh, there's this thing called Iris Enhance in a local brush. What it basically does is it's brightening and saturating the area. And if you apply it on eyes, they will get much brighter and they will be more standing out of the picture, which is something you want, because eye is very eye-catching. Now you can see that the eyes are now shining out of the picture. And another trick which I'm also using on most of my photos, we will use a radial filter. And we're going to choose the area of the picture that we want to focus on. In this case is the heads. So I'm going to use uh, minus exposure and it's going to make everything in the picture except of the heads a bit darker and i'm actually going to do this two more times because i want to focus on the wolves primarily and you can see what's happening is that the picture is getting really dark because i have effectively uh, darkened every part of it three times so we are going to brighten it again um, the, the background is still too bright for my taste, so I'm going to darken it a little bit more. And so this is about exposure. Everything that should be bright and have contrast and dark is the way I like it. You can try to use clarity a little bit. This hardly did anything. Uh, maybe it did in the background. And the little vibrance. Be careful with vibrance. You don't want to oversaturate the picture. This is adding color to the picture, and if you go too too far, this will happen. And it now looks not very natural, especially the yellow wolf. And that's it. In just a few minutes, we have got the picture from this state to this state. So. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I hope that you found it helpful and goodbye.